Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, today's video is going to be super short, um, just like the past few of mine have been pretty short. Um, these are technical analysis type videos, I'm kind of teaching you how to do different charting methods and stuff like that. But anyway guys, today I'm going to talk about a popular technical analysis charting pattern in trading called the rounding bottom pattern. Or pattern. All right, guys. Um, so guys, before we actually do get started, for those of you who actually are new to my channel, um, if you are interested in trading and you would like to try the same crypto exchange that I use on a regular basis, go free, go free, ugh. <laughs> Go ahead and try out the Mexi crypto exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. Um, I personally love this exchange because, hey, I'm a huge fan of buying low cap or small cap altcoins um, because those are typically the types of altcoins that like to take off in bull runs. So here's the thing, you guys. Mexi has over 1,500 different altcoins, and they are adding new ones on a regular basis, whereas all the other bigger mainstream exchanges like Binance and Coinbase and stuff like that, they only have like three to 500 coins that you can you know buy from. So so realistically here, um, if you want the good small cap altcoins that could take off and, you know, make some pretty good big gains, you're going to want an exchange like this. So that's the main reason why I use Mexi, you guys. Plus, they also have futures trading. So I'm a big crypto futures trader. So that's another reason why I use it. But anyway, you guys, we are going to move on to the rounding bottom pattern. All right. So here's the thing about rounding bottom patterns, you guys. Okay. A rounding bottom chart pattern can be a little confusing at times, all right? This is honestly one of the most confusing ones that confuses even me at times, all right? Simply because, you guys, it can it can honestly signify either a continuation or a reversal, all right? So, for example, guys, during an uptrend, when, you know, an asset's price may fall back slightly before rising once more. That's usually typically what happens with a rounding bottom pattern, all right? And if this happens, you guys, it would typically be a bullish continuation, which, as you can clearly see in this example that I've got right here, all right? Um, the reversal happened right here. Uh, we came back a little bit, and then we reversed right around in here, and it continued going straight upwards, and there we go. That's the bullish, bullish continuation right there. Now, guys... A good example of a bullish bullish reversal rounding bottom would be if an asset's price was in a downward trend, as you can clearly see right here, like I was just mentioning, downward trend and a rounding bottom forms before the trend reverses and enters the bullish uptrend, as you see right here. So realistically, it's pretty easy to say what it is on paper, but actually spotting them on the chart Unless you know what you're looking for, they can be kind of kind of confusing to spot in real time, you guys. Overall here, though, you guys, traders will typically use the rounding bottom patterns. Um, they'll be on the lookout pretty much here for the, to capitalize on this pattern simply by buying halfway around. So as you can see right here, you'd want to buy halfway around the rounding bottom, which is right here, okay? Um, now, you can buy halfway around the bottom like that um, at the low point, and you will capitalize on the continuation once it breaks above the level of resistance, which you can clearly see that level of resistance would be probably right around, typically right around in here, you can clearly see it. I mean, that's clearly a good level of resistance right around in this area. Um, it's tried to go up past this point many times, and it keeps failing a lot. So um, that would be a good spot for resistance. So that's kind of what I'm talking about here. So guys, as you guys can clearly see, this specific pattern can definitely be tougher to spot. Um, but from my personal experience, you guys, it's definitely easiest to spot on a daily time frame. Um, so for those of you who are like me, who are swing trading rather than day trading, you guys are going to be the ones that are going to be able to find these rounding bottom patterns much easier than somebody who's day trading and staring at the one hour charts or the 15 minute charts. All right. Um, so let me show you one in real life, actually, because I actually found one just recently on the Bitcoin daily chart. Um, so as we can clearly see, this one happened right around March or so. Um, so as you guys can clearly see, we were going up. We're in an overall trend. We're in an overall uptrend. You can clearly see it. You know, we go up here and then up here and then up here again. So overall from here down here all the way up to here, that's clearly a small uptrend. OK, it's not a big uptrend, but it's still an uptrend nonetheless. All right. But as you guys can clearly see, we were in an uptrend. It ended up going down formed this rounding bottom right down here. You can clearly see it clear as day. And the place to buy would be right around in here, halfway through the bottom. Obviously, you can clearly see that. And as you guys can clearly see, the level of resistance is literally right around in here. All right. And you can clearly see it because the price tried to break through this area 
on many different occasions. One, two, three. It broke through here and here, um, but then it came back down four, five, six, seven. It tried to break through seven days straight and it did not break through. But then on day eight, it finally broke through and it skyrocketed up, you guys, completing the completing the overall rounding bottom pattern. So here you go, guys. This is just a good example. Now, here's the thing, you guys. Um, you know, when you spot things like this, I mean, it, it's not, like I said, you know, charting patterns and stuff like this, th this kind of stuff is not, they are not guarantees, okay? So this could have just as easily went straight down, all right? Um, but again, you guys, like I was explaining earlier, um, you know, they're not always going to be bullish every single time. So keep that in mind as well. So overall here, you guys, if you guys have any questions about the rounding bottom pattern at all whatsoever, feel free to reach out, reach out to me on Twitter, all right? Other than that, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, hey, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.